Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install Luminlay um, Glow side dots. Like any guitar that has existing dots. So uh, the patient here is my Velocity 2 bass. Now you'll notice that the dots are offset there, the front dots. Um, since the bass strings are so thick, it actually makes them kind of hard to see if you're looking over the top of the bass. And then, if you look here, just normal dots. They're pretty small. I measured them with a digital caliper and they're around uh, two millimeters. So I ordered the two millimeter lumen lay. Now, most videos I've seen of folks talking about um, installing side dots, it always involves a drill press, um, which I don't have. And I was, the notion of using a hand drill on my fingerboard seems kind of scary. Like I'm imagining it like ripping through the surface. <laughs> so I was looking into the whole side dot thing and I read, because I never really thought about side dots before, but I read that they're, they're pretty much always plastic. So I had the thought, um, basically that if they're plastic, then chances are they're pretty soft. So what I was thinking, I, uh, took a thumbtack actually and um, poked at one of my dots to see if it would make an impression and it actually did. And then I started poking at it further and then I had the idea of taking a drill bit just with my fingers um, and trying to twist it over the dot and the indentation that the thumbtack made um, to see what would happen. Now you notice this dot here is bigger than the other dots. It's actually because I took a drill bit to it and actually already drilled it all the way out. And that dot was actually a little piece of toilet paper I stuck in there. <laughs> so the hole doesn't go very deep. I don't know how well you can see it. But yep, yeah. so it's actually really easy to do. And you can see I got all the plastic out of there. But um, that's what I'm going to demonstrate how to do. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to drill the holes. Now I'm using DeWalt Pilot Point drill bits. Now if you're drilling side dots, for the, on a guitar that didn't already have them, you'd want brad point drill bits. Um, and there's a site that actually sells ones uh, that intended for luthiers and that sort of thing. And I'll put that link up just in case anybody needs it. But um, what I have here is a 564th drill bit, which is very close to two millimeters. And then um, what I'm gonna do to put the camera down here uh, so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing so what I did and you'll notice most of the dots are already gone because I've been working on them oh and see if you can see the hole I'm moving the light a little bit I don't know how hopefully you can see it but that's the hole that one of the holes that I already made so now, what I've been doing is taking a thumbtack and then poking a hole as close to the center as I can get. That's pretty close. Yep. What does it look like it to me? Just to be safe. 
Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm just taking this drill bit here. Now the light's blocking it. Try it this way. So I'm taking this drill bit here. And then just turn it a little bit. See, there's already plastic coming off. Alright, so turn it a little bit more. A little bit more plastic comes out. Now, I noticed after doing a few of these that it really made my thumb sore. Um, they actually do make little handles that you can put a drill bit in that are intended for doing exactly what I'm doing right here. And this is how I did it the very first time. I was like, well, let me just poke at it a little bit. And I was like, wow, this stuff comes out really easy. And I just kept doing it until that dot was completely gone. It's really not that scary. I mean, as long as you're patient and you go slow. It's really not a big deal. And that's pretty much it. So, hopefully you can see that hole well enough. I have to look down there and try to clean all the plastic out if I can. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Not much to it. Just got to make sure you measure your dots carefully and make sure that uh, you use the right size drill bit. But other than that, I mean, really, you can get a really clean hole. It's nothing to be afraid of. You don't need you know heavy tools. Okay. So to install the stuff, all I'm doing is. Put a little dab of glue on the end of it. I'm sticking it in the hole. Just kind of hard to do when you're dodging a camera, but sticking it in the hole. And holding it. Long enough for it to dry a little bit. I just take my wire cutters, clip it off right there, and then that leaves you enough to work with. So we'll do it again. Put a little drop of glue on there. It's probably a little too much. We'll stick it in the hole. Hold it in there. And this stuff's kind of flexible, so it's easy to. Don't have to worry about breaking it while you're holding it. If it bends a little bit, it's fine. And then, obviously, that's stuck. I take my clippers carefully because I've got another dot right next to it. And whoop. 
that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, so what I've done here, I've run masking tape all the way up the back of the neck along the dots and then across the front of the fretboard up to the dots and then I ran pieces across down next to the dots and then now I can safely file them down without worrying about um, scratching up my neck so that's what's up. Obviously I couldn't get any tape between those two dots but I'll be filing them with the same surface of the file so hopefully that shouldn't be an issue. But that is what's up right there. Alright so I'm back and you can see here that I got the dots installed just fine. Nice and smooth. Now, a um, couple things. Um, I use the bastard file, uh, and ma mainly because I have everything all taped off when I did it, so I didn't have to worry about precision filing. So I filed it down as much as I could um, with that, and then I switched to sanding it. So. Um, for the sanding part of it, I just decided to um, start off with 600 grit. And I mean, it took a long time, but I figured I'd rather, you know, rather it take a little bit longer and um, not have to worry about removing scratches from, my, from the side of my fingerboard rather than um, starting off with a rougher grain. And it worked out fine. I used my sanding block and, you know, it's, it's pretty flat. so. I'd say it worked out pretty well. Um, now how you can see, at least my, my flashlight battery is charged now. But yeah, they um, they pretty much look like normal dots for the most part. I mean, really, totally. So now, I'm going to take a look at. The main attraction, which would be the glowy part. So, hold on just a second. I'm going to turn off the light. Here we are in the dark, feeling around for my UV light. Okay, so we're going to charge it up. You'll notice, even though there's light on it, you can still see the glow. So I'd say that's pretty impressive. So hopefully, hopefully that helps. So hopefully that gives you some idea of how bright it actually is.